Welcome to Mr. Jeremiah Plaggart Lectures in Statistics. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about survival analysis with R. Our main task is to handle fitting Kaplan Meyer survival model in R Studio. Now, let's access the R. We are going to read our data into R, and the name of our data is AIDS to CSV. Our data is located in the desktop, it's called the DTA. We have to load our data. To view the data sets, we type its name in the CSV, then we see that we have the 12 observation with the two variables that is name, but that is date and time. Now we see the names of the variables, we have time and death. We have to note that 1 indicates that there was dead occurrence and 0 indicate that no dead occur. Right censoring in this case implies that the subjects died at the end of the process while 0 which is the left censoring indicates that there was no event occurred because uh, dead occurs before even the beginning of the process. We are going to attach the variables. After we have attached the variables, for us to do the survival analysis, we have to load the library function survival. After we have loaded our library function survival, we are going to fit the Kaplan Mayer model by typing k dot KM model, which is Kaplan Mayer model, and then we raise each with approximated to one, and then you have to view our model. We have to view our KM model. We will see that we had a 12 sample size, 10 number of events, median of 15, our lower confidence interval level at 95% was seven then we we'll have to ask the summary of our model summary of the mo KM model we we'll love to ask the summary of the KM model now we see that at time two we have number of risk of 12 patients number of event occurrence was one survival 91.7 percent at time 2, there was 91.7% chance that the subject will die. Now, we have to plot this model. Our X-Lab will have times in months. Our Y-Life, our Y-Lab is a percentage of those people alive, the chances of survival, and our main, which is the title of the plot, is the KM model. We plot, this is our plot, you see how it appears the KM model and then we do some more additional things we add the last now we want to change the variables to rotate at least in the y axis you see we have done it and then we have to add the line to our model using the upline command you see this is the line we add to our model and then therefore we have to plot our model when the confidence interval is assumed to be two and the mark time is true therefore we put the mark time therefore you see these spots here it indicates that the mark time is true at 95 percent confidence interval level we have to move to a further step and do some few other things by detaching this data and loading another data we detach this the data of that our data of as.csv we have to detach our data and after detaching our data we remove it from the memory of the R studio using the rm command and then after we remove the remove it we reload another data this other data is also located in our desktop and is called a very funny name data with capital A we load the data, we view the names of this data, we view its con content first, 
we see it has a 20 observation which indicate that we took a sample size of 28 patients with those who are over 40 variables included therefore we view the names of this data and we see we have the time date and those who are over 40 years we also attach this data and we move forward to find the kaplan mayer model in relation to those who are over or under 40s in other words we need to find out the relationship with this are those people over 40 their dead rate equal to those who are under 40 therefore we see the relationship between the age in this part we type this one to be the km model kaplan mayer model 2 because initially we had the kaplan mayer model 1 but now the date we approximate to those who are over 40 years after doing this we are interested to find out the confidence interval by plotting after we plot we will see that the percentage of those who are alive and the mean which is the KM model at time 0 to 30 we see the summary of this model and we will figure out that at time 1 there was 75 percent confidence that uh, 8 subjects will die at event 2 therefore we move forward to plot it and then this time we add uh, we need to rotate the variable to y-axis our line with wdt to be w lwd to be equal to 2 this is the line width and then mark time to be 2 see we have located this one blue and color red appear therefore we had to add legends to separate them after adding our legend we see that this red line indicates those who are over 40 and over under 40 is blue therefore we need to be do uh, to perform the log rank text to find out uh, the practical behind the, the assumption of our null and alternative and here yeah, we assume that uh, our survival in the two groups is the same to be our h naught which is null hypothesis in other words we are going to differentiate it between the survival uh, the alternative analysis which indicates that the survival in the two groups is not the same and to find it out we have to use the survival different command for those who over 40 to find out the truth therefore we are going to reject the null hypothesis for the survival if it's over 40 and under 40 groups differ if they do differ we are going to reject the null hypothesis and after performing this analysis, we see for those who are over 40, had zero, uh, 12 subjects had no chance of dying, and 8 subjects would die. Therefore, our p value is 0 0.02, which is significant by being less than 0 0.05. We therefore conclude that we reject null hypothesis and we accept the alternative hypothesis that the survival in the two groups for those who are over and under 40 were not the same with the 95% confidence interval. Thank you. To learn more about R, check my other videos or subscribe to JK Technologies YouTube channel. Be blessed.